Hi guys, it's Gadget, and you don't see my hair up, because I'm in a fury mood today, and if you notice, young people think my hair, okay, how do I put this, um, hair's blonde, but it has a red tinge to it, alright, so yeah, there's a thing with that, um, in the mystical world with that or anything, but, uh, today I slept till about 4 o'clock. And I'm eating dinner. Okay? Dad made dinner because they're trying to be nice and everything. And I'm sitting here going like, I'll take it because I'm still too tired. I'm still too exhausted. I have been thrown off since that blackout. But how's everybody else's day? Because you know I'm pissed still right now, guys. You know why? My friend said two people left him because of what the situation is that's going on. You know, people, if anyone is using this situation as an excuse to ditch people, fine and great, that's on you. But don't make someone cry. Don't make someone upset or anything, you know? Excuse me. Because right now, like I said, I've only been up for the past two hours. Took my shower, got everything done. I wish I could take you guys in the shower with me, but I would get age restricted. Um, just to recap, yesterday that I told you guys, if you hadn't watched it, three of Christopher's friends Skyped with me, and I don't know what to do. I really don't. After what they showed me, after what I showed them, after what everything, we're all at this point where... It's on him. It really is on him. Oh my. I'm starving. This is technically breakfast. All I know, like I said, I would love to be doing these My Life series out showing you things, showing you places and everything. But it's hard when you have a cane. It's hard when you have to deal with time frames. You don't just go out in this area. You don't. There's nothing around here. There really is nothing around here. I'll take you guys maybe to the zoo one day or anything, but there's really not much to do. All right? But, like I said, the worst thing that happened today was the fact that while I was catching up on some rest, I had the craziest dreams. And when I dream, everyone worries because those are visions. And what I saw gave me some hope, but what I also saw gave me some sadness. You know? Oh, no one no one passed away yet. No, no one passed away yet. No visions of those yet to prepare me, because those aren't those are still up in the air with um, the timelines. What basically the dreams were about were just simple little things. Things that it's funny because, like, one of them is a continuation of another, and it just keeps ending at a certain point, and that's when I know either someone is stopping the dream, the vision, or basically it's just I'm really exhausted. But if I'm allowed to see something, that means it's a fixed point in time. And if this is really a fixed point in time, the problem is I don't know where this fixed point in time will happen. Because... It is a hotel. It does have a very big bay window. The mirror is weird in the place and everything because I keep seeing me in a mirror talking to somebody. I'm not going to say who it is. You guys might predict who it is or anything, but I'm not going to say. But they asked me to meet them halfway in this vision. So to me, it either has to be some place where I'm lo I'm local and this person comes to me or maybe they find out where I'm going to be where I don't even know where I'm going to be day to day. Because like I said, I have many things planned in the works that I would like to do in the future.
But for some reason, these visions now all correlate after the book is published. And the funny part about it is this is just a little book that really has nothing, and I can't find my clip either, but you know what now? It's just a little book about a snippet in time that someone at one point gave me hope. And then I sit there and I think about that and I say, could this book have it a purpose? Could this book be the thing that brings me to where I'm supposed to be? Because technically, the timeline changed for me when it concerned me and Christopher and life with me and my friends and everything because I had to push the timeline up, but it wasn't by my choice. It was because of something that happened with one of my teachers. So it, instead of me graduating in 2018, excuse me, which would have actually progressed mine and Christopher's a little longer that we would have gotten to know each other a little more and everything, my first trip to Europe wouldn't have been to his house or their wedding. That would have been my second, maybe third trip. The first one would have been to Ireland to do school projects and everything. And who knows? Maybe that's when I would have met my cousins and found them and Christopher coming over. So it might be even showing me a timeline where that was supposed to happen. That's what happens with dreams when you're a psychic or clairvoyant or anything like that and stuff or empath. Sometimes you see different timelines that were supposed to happen. And... It's sad because, yeah, I do miss him, but I can't get hurt again. And I don't even know if anybody's trying to contact me or what after this, but I told you guys, you can't, if you're blocked on YouTube, you can't leave me any messages. You can't do anything, be, say any nasty stuff because there are certain words that have been blocked. And that's all because of Luke, Josh, and all the other fun people who think they know me. Who think they know the real story of what happened. Because their little friend won't tell the truth. That's the one thing about me. You lie about me. You don't tell the truth. That is more of a disgrace to me than anything. That makes me hate your actions more than anything. What about me is I don't hold grudges because I feel people are adults and will understand why I don't speak to you anymore. You never gave us a chance to miss each other. That goes out to his friends. You never gave him a chance to process what he has done to me. You all persuaded him to leave me before it even began. And I'm tired of that. And if you guys don't own up to that, that's on you. But I like the fact that two girls knew he was done with me before I even knew we were done. Because he said he wanted to try to change his mind. Yeah, that means you guys already made up his mind for him. So what was it all for? So that Peter Pan and his lost boys can still have some fun on the expense of me. I'm not bitter. I'm pissed off. There's a difference. Because he broke promises that he promised he was going to keep. And if you all are running scared because of a little book, this is not even the book about when I met everybody and stuff. This is just about a synopsis of my hundred days waiting to go see him and then each day as a journal what happened each day so if you're panicking about that you guys really then tell me it just tells me that how do I put this how do I put it 
that you guys are scared. You guys are bullies. You guys are basically never going to let him decide for himself. And if he actually made these decisions for himself, he is a spoiled brat. Like all my other exes. The spoiled brats they are. The selfishness they are. They didn't take my feelings in consideration. They never talked with me. They just went ghost. Or the ones who finally, finally woke up and started talking to me again. Like I said, I have this one that was a blind date who came out to me. And his partner died. Now, I'm still upset with that because that guy was really nice. Treated him like gold, you know? He just passed away this past October, November. Like, you know, I, I, I think that's what he told me because he won't tell me the real date when he passed because he doesn't want to upset me. And I think I know why because it's close to my birthday than anything. He tells me fix it with Christopher. Fix it. And I said, but it's not me who has to fix it. He goes, fix it. Do what you can, but fix it. I'm trying not to cry because there's salt on this stuff. But it's like, unblock them. Just unblock them. Be the bigger person. Unblock them. I sit there. And I go, I, I tell, I said, I can't. I can't. I'm not getting hurt again. He hurt me too much. He gave up on me before he even got to know me. What do you think? Fighting with me would have made it easier that I, which I didn't understand. He wanted me to come out every year, but I'm not a girlfriend anymore to you. That's what you said. I'm nothing. So I don't come out anymore. There's no more. That's what I couldn't understand with him. He couldn't under I don't know how, what he was thinking. He didn't understand this was it. But everything else, and I have to change the channel. Give me one second. With everything. What? No. Why is my friggin' ass? This is life, people. Now you see the waves? You see the curls? Okay. If my hair was shorter, it would be a lot curlier. Because I finally fixed my hair. That's what I'm saying. All the years of acting ruined it with all the cha color changes and everything. We don't even know what my real blonde is. It's got so many dyes from the other dyes in it. That's why I get it bleached almost every year. But what do you do when you've got now three people who took the challenge to try to get to know me and just basically Showed me that he had no no heart. He had no courage. I was nothing. How do you think that makes me feel? But if I really was something, because they keep claiming he does love me, he doesn't care about me. But he's still letting people dictate how he wants to treat me. And that's not fair. Really is not fair. Because... I wanted a life with him. I would have stayed. But I wanted to get things together before I decided what I was doing. Because I'm tired of running for people. This time let someone run for me. Like I said. The book will explain everything. That happened on that trip. And those three people want to read it. Many people want to read it. Because it's my observation. It's what happened each day, the journal that I wrote down. It's my 
It was supposed to be my fun time. It was supposed to be something happy to share with him. But that didn't happen. So now, as I eat my dinner, what am I do? Well, like I said, I'm only up for like two and a half hours now. Because it's January 24th at 6.31 p.m., right? I'm dealing with people and their own problems, which I didn't want to do, but I'm the type of person I am. <sighs> you guys lost that privilege to find out if I'm dating or not. Because since everyone likes to destroy things and people, you all lost that right. And like I said, he's a coward and a chicken. He's a spoiled brat. Because if he had any faith in it, in life and anything, he wouldn't have done what he did to me. And yes, I'll have to live with the fact that I can still feel his heart. Because no matter how many times I try, it's not me that's not letting go. There is unresolved issues with us. And they're going to stay unresolved. Because it's all on him. Okay, I sit here, watch TV if I can, trying to pull apart a bedroom, little by little. And people are complaining I have too much stuff. When you have to box things up so that you can clean something, that's the proper way to do it. So that nothing gets broken because of the way my family is. I already got a broken trophy because of my dad. they had their way, there'd be nothing in this place. I'll tell you people this. I didn't start this war. Many people think I did, but I didn't. You guys did it by always belittling me. Every time I got back with Christopher. And I can see why. The mentality of you guys. You're so insecure. You fear anything that's new, changeable. Anything that's different. Because it's wrong. You know? It's also wrong to keep someone locked up. And I don't mean prison. I mean locked up. Telling them, keeping them, you're not living if you're staying in your room or anything. Okay, talk to somebody who's been literally locked up, who was not allowed to go anywhere, who had to obey and be a good girl, who was abused, who was whatever, right? Who didn't have the same freedoms as many of you out there you are so lucky with. So yeah, maybe my view's a little skewed. Heck, I thought someone actually cared about me for once in my fucking life. But like all others, they were more concerned about what image they were portraying to their friends than what the real person was underneath all of it. And that's sad. That really is sad. Because as you see what I look like, I don't care what people see on the outside. Because they know what I am on the inside. I don't care if my face is covered in spots. I don't care if my hair is half done ratty or anything like that. I don't care if I go out with three different colors on. Or in my flip-flops in the middle of, of winter. I'm me and I stay me. I see things differently. I feel things differently. I just thought people understood that others' feelings matter and that you should not belittle somebody because they are different or want somebody in their life that you feel is not appropriate because they're not what you deem as someone acceptable for them. No, I'm not playing that game anymore. Told you.
I'm dating? I'm not dating? We'll know. No one will know. But there is unresolved issues with me and Christopher. And you guys better either get him on the ball to resolve them. Because I said I'm calling you all out. I'll call you out. Because enough is enough. There are too many people now who know the truth. When is he going to learn it? When is he going to tell the truth? And stop playing his games. And having certain people bring him down. When is he going to tell his sister the truth? When is he going to realize that it was his own hand, his own words, that made me give him up? The fact that his friend said, oh, she overreacted to a little bullying. A little bullying? Really? Okay. And it's funny how this girl looks exactly like um, this girl that's on his page and was screaming no to things on a newsfeed thing, but that's okay. The weak-minded want the weak. The misery wants the miserable. The strong-willed stay strong. But never fear the unknown. Never fear what's different. And never fear what's new. Because life is full of drama. And if you're stuck just doing the same routine over and over, there's a difference with me. It's called being an adult. Because I have to go to work. I have to maintain an apartment. I have to try to find a full-time job when there is none. Worry about when my next meal will be and thinking God, Dad, has made a meal. Okay? Worrying about things in life that adults worry about, but still maintain the fact that I look like I'm in my 20s. And wanting to go to conventions and doing things that are fun. My talents are not wasted. They're just on hold right now. Because I have to now put my priorities back in order. Because I put them on hold for someone for four years. Because I thought for sure, finally, someone was actually going to wake up and say, she's mine. That's it. I found the one. But no. Broke all the promises and everything, just like all my other exes. Christopher's not the first. Christopher's not the last. It's just right now is my time. And I want him to tell the truth. Because, like I said, I've only been up for two hours. And I'm still dealing with the fallout of other things. I'm dealing with fallout of friends, deleting friends. I'm dealing with all that. Because, like I said, that's the person I am. I don't fault you for your differences. I fault you for your stupidity. And I don't mean it like that. I mean, if you're going to destroy somebody, or forget somebody, or do something because... You want to impress somebody else or follow the gang? I feel sorry for you that you lost out on something good. But if you were on the coattails of someone because they themselves had connections and everything, I don't feel sorry for you because you got what you deserve. But then there is the fact that, like I said, I don't hold grudges. You just have to give me time to calm down. And deal with the situation at hand that I did not create. You have to now meet my standards and practices. And I love the fact that everyone else can be happy. But they wouldn't let us be happy. Jealous little bastards. And potatoes, by the way, guys. Like I said, I don't care what I look like, what I sound like, because I know me. And you know I'm making a point here with everything. Because like I said, I called out all of them. They all know how to reach me. But there was a post I had put up that was really good. It said, 
If you have a problem with me, call me. And if you don't have my number, we really don't have a problem. You know? But it's on him now. He can do whatever the fucking hell he wants, like I, I said. I just love the fact that his friends think I'm just like, all oh, those little, 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 no, no, no. Mm -mm. That was the one thing I warned him about with me. You piss me off, life will be hell for you. Maybe it's the Irish in me, maybe it's the Italian in me. Italian stubbornness, Irish temper. Who knows? But I will say this, he will not know a day's peace until I know peace. So, if he thinks he's got peace now, oh, no, 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 no. He thinks he's not guilty of anything? I hope he buys dentures. And if he ends up dead from tramadol, not my problem. But I will say this. I will be here if his grandmother passes away. I will be here if life falls down the gutter for him again. Because I'm not that mean and vindictive like you guys think I am. So, wake up, people. The world is not all dark. The world is not all light. And the world is not all ours. But it is the fact that we're dealing with people who can't see the big picture. Or because if they move from the comfortable life they have, they won't know what to do. Maybe you guys didn't like me because I made him work. I didn't baby him. Maybe because I didn't have low self-esteem like the rest of you. Maybe I didn't see the fact that you guys jumped the gun on things, jumped the shark. Well, because you guys think you know everything. I have about 10 to 20 years on some of you. And I would never wish my life on any of you. But I am glad I had the life I did so I don't end up like you narrow-minded, self-centered little spoiled brats. I feel bad for his parents. Excuse me. Who raised them probably right, but ended up with what they have now. But it is sad. You know? I would love my parents to pay for video games, movies, and conventions for me. But that doesn't happen in the real world. I'm handicapped and I still have to do things. Like I said, I love that this thing is auto-focusing. <laughs> I'm not a bitter person. But I know when I've been wronged. And played. And if I could ditch Christopher and my friend Joe because of their selfish acts, trust me, it takes a lot for me to ditch you people. That's why I look at people like, how bad was the fight? Or when they ask me what happened, they're like, he's an ass. Or when his friends find out the truth, he's an ass. So I can't wait until my life starts taking off again. Because it is. It's doing good. But like I said, most of you here lost the right to know more personal stuff. But I know Christopher very well. Just like most of my other exes. When they get... The, he, he won't let this go. He won't. Right now, he's being distracted. Okay? Right now, he's being distracted. But once that distraction ends, or that playtime ends, because like I said, for the first three years, we were friends. I didn't care who he dated, what he fucked, or anything like that. 
but when you make me the girlfriend and then let someone else convince you that it's not right when it didn't even start yet and my camera froze and I hope you heard all that know this that's on him and that's on the people he did that to because it's funny how people who really wanted me out there back, stabbed me in the back who lied, who did things just so that Make it look good, you know? Unreal people. <clears throat> Very unreal. Because I wanted to stay. But like my friend said, he said, fix it. Maybe I'll fix it one day. After I get what I gotta get done. Because now it's on my time. And if Christopher ever, never, ever comes back. Hey, that's okay. His loss. His loss. Not mine. And like anything, if he has to downgrade after me, oh well. And if he has to find something hotter than me, just to make, make up for, uh, you know what? Won't do anything to me. Because the hotter they are, the faker they are. Because if he has to find something that has to put makeup on every day, what's she hiding? Or he hiding? My life is mine. And I will not let anybody destroy it. Not even his friends. But like I said, I was very... Crazy. Because it's doing defrag on the thing. I just tell you guys right now. Don't blame me. Don't do whatever. Don't hurt anybody because things are different. Start acting like adults. Because right now, I got no time for children. Maybe that's a good thing I can't have them. But I have no time for children. Talk to you soon.